Ba bum bum bum. Ba da bum bum. Yeah, approach it as Dark Souls. Roll for initiative. No. No, it just Look, collapses. Dark Souls, just, every time you take steps, you're rolling for initiative. No, Como, it just collapses, and then one half is a boss fight, and the other half is like shows up in the later dungeon as a big butt. Yeah, I know. You just fight on ass. <laughs> they knew the area was so ass, they made it the regular enemy. Shame of lost Elith. All right. Where the hell did we even leave off a week or two ago? We Fuckers. got into a fight. Pretty much. Did you? Yeah, we were off in the middle of uh, at the edge of town investigating. And some people were after us. After sleeping. I think I think you woke up and like some people were complaining outside, was it? He. This is not really the same, all things considered. <laughs> because you're in Widehand, a little coastal town. Where fishermen live, there was a guy who was buying you to a drink. You're standing over the springs, looking out the window, and indeed, some locals are throwing a fit about the fact that some foreigners have shown up in town. That's how you get... That's how you earn money as a town, you dummies. I mean, this place looks like a... <laughs> Dragon butts. <sighs> See, now you can't blame me, because you have to click it knowingly. Now, uh, truth be told, <laughs> it's really not your job to be dealing with people who are having a complaint about who a hotel or slash game decides to service, so... I know, look, since they're assholes, I'm going to leave them a three-star Yelp review instead of five Ooh, stars. that's powerful. Wait, why are you leaving a three-star Yelp review for the hotel? They've been nothing but kind to you. Yes, but... So you're punishing the hotel for not taking care of these rowdy people? Yes. Wow, you're, you're a Karen. <laughs> yes! I have only one emotion, and it is economically dissatisfied with my service. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. No, that is just the mood of Cobalt Capers. Like, I'll have, I get woken up in the middle of the night like, what? <laughs> anyway, I got a pink bellow now that I think about it. Ba -dum -bum -bum. All right. So do you want to do anything with these guys? You can just make it, make it over to your car and leave if you want to. I mean, we, we really shouldn't be getting into trouble with the locals as much as we can. If they're just uh, staring hi. at us, it's fine. It's like, hi, we took a trip outside of town. We killed like 15 people. It's like, you've been gone for 10 minutes. Well, they oh, called okay, us one butts. Day. Yes. All right. Well, you pack up your bags to whatever is necessary and slump your way down the stairs. When you get outside to the front entrance and past the small terrace, uh, they're not really jacuzzis. Like I said, they're more hot springs. Mm -hmm. The crater is remarkably low down. It's very warm. There's lots of hot springs. It's How is this place geogra geothermically active when the whole mountains are so cold? I guess it's just a big icy crust. I mean, it could have been geologically active after the, 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 the thing created the crater. Also, mountain ranges can still be geologically active, uh, usually if they're cinder cone types or stratovolcanoes. Get out of here, geologists. They don't need you on this mission. I only took a year of geology. <laughs> Listen. Specifically, if I have to hear one more person tell me about the rock cycle, about how how oh man, metamorphic rock it becomes sedimentary. Ho ho ho! I'm gonna. Oh. I don't want to hear about the rock cycle. But I don't want to hear about so... geodes. <laughs> they I use those. I have one over there. Sala, you use geodes to pay for things in the, the Game of Thrones mobile game. Ready? That's dumb. Yeah, the, there was like a whole Why? thing where where it was like, oh, geodes. I think Jay actually made a video on it. It's hilarious. Yeah, no, I've got geode over there. I brought one with me. Get your igneous rocks out of here. Don't want to hear it. It is mostly igneous. When you leave the building yes. and decide to figure out whatever or not there's iron in the local igneous settlements, the people sat in front of the door complaining to the hotel manager turns his gaze almost immediately towards you. Uh oh. And he starts yelling past the hotel manager about you. Like the most people around here. He's a squat, uh, well, ape like person. Mm. I forgot what the genotype, I think what's it called again, genotype something, the, the code. I forgot if hive like human like. I should pull that one up. But they have a, they have a little, little, little like, thingy about it. The f funny part is, though. The Traveler book. I really think that the port job could have been done better because there's like a lot of dropped stitches when you get down to it. Oh. Mm. Let's see. Xenotip. No Xenomorph. 
Yeah, the genotype divergence. They don't explain what the numbers actually mean. I think a high number means you're more animal-like, and these are definitely more animal-like monkeys. Let's put it like this. They're, they're, they're past the point where, where you're furry and you start getting a little weird about it. But it's also the common ally, so who fucking cares? The people. Alright. Point is, this guy turns to you, and he starts yelling at you. About how the squint eyes are making it a little farther out of a little squint town. What are they gonna do next? Tear down all the stone buildings for their flashy steel? Oh, they'll just be squinting more once all the light gets in their eyes. <laughs> so unless you have anything to add, you can just make it to your car. He's not going to get physical or violent. I, he's going to be uh, yabbing he's at gonna, you. He's going to be unpleasant. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I'm making it for the car. <laughs> Dangerously furry. Yes. <laughs> the kill bill siren starts sounding. <laughs> as the number goes up. Yes. Oh. Once you're in your little Sick comfy bastard. Car, once you're in your little comfy car, yes. and it's not a Chewie's mobile, I don't want to hear it. God, that stupid rat is Chewie's mobile. You make your way to Motortown. Vroom, vroom. Motortown lives up to its... Well, first, you go through a large stretch of land. You leave the sea. Eventually, the sea of gold just vanishes out of you. Uh, and the elevated highway that connects to Omnianto... Omnianto. First, there's marshes. It's a lot more obvious now that there's an ocean on one side occupying much of your vision. It's just... Marshes, lowlands, lots of wet pools. In places, small pockets of forests and overgrowth. And often, there are hunting huts, trails, and other assorted gatherings. There is definitely life. People moving to their stations, or, you know, just going out for a walk. Life has only been getting more comfortable ever since the disclosure, as technology will invariably destroy industry and replace it with leisure. The criminal scum! Motortown is the only reason it has as large of a footprint is because the buildings here aren't very tall. The high gravity makes it more difficult to build taller structures. And Comtown, with its commonality technology, is one of the few places where you can reliably build structures that are more than 10 floors. Uh, around here, a skyscraper will be more than 10 stories, because at that point you start to need sophisticated technology to keep it standing. Especially with these high winds. In case, I know that you and I don't think about this a lot, but it turns out when you want to build a fucking skyscraper, you need some fancy-ass technology to keep that thing up with the winds that are up there. So around here, it's expensive. Gravity, winds, woof. The roaring wind just gets bad. Even when you go into like little forested sections where the trees crawl over, you can feel the wind gush through the gully and blow through the air conditioning. Of course, I mean, it, kind of make, it makes sense for the buildings to be wider than taller in here. In addition, as you go further inland and further north towards the snow layer, mm -hmm. towards the, the poles and everything, it starts to get noticeably colder. It's been a day or two, but it's gone from subtropical to more like Mediterranean temperate. Which means it's kind of chilly in the night, but not now. Motortown is a broad city. You can tell the more authentic inner area, but the further you get out from the in from the center, buildings go up as they are made to meet urban demand instead of being just ancestral homes and the like. You, uh, what else is there about Motown? There's a large industrial area adjacent to the thickest of the forest, which is what the actual green patch is. That is where the logging industry takes place. And as your useful little mindscape implant informs you about, because, of course, they're building tourism, it politely informs you of said logging industry. Forester and forester forestry is, well, it's the forestry area. It's the biggest industry around. It's kind of the corporate company of the town. They uh, handle chopping down blackwood, turning it into fancy stuff, and selling it on afterwards. Uh, forester and foresty is, uh, well... The guy who runs it has good commonality connections. Apparently, when you're a large industrial, the technology you can get and the sales you can get selling to an entire empire is just kind of worth it. As a result, Motortown has been in a bit of a split. You can definitely tell once you get closer and you can start to peek over the, the older sections that newer modern buildings are around that are made of glass and steel. And whereas most of the buildings here are like gray stone and black wood, you can see the blue, white, glossy steel structures. In addition, the vehicles get more industrial the further you go. First, it's just a couple of trucks, but then it's like massive vehicles occupying the road itself, like large digging machines, woodcutters, followed by trains 
of logs on the back of vehicles, and at times, large rotary transports fly overhead. It's busy. Very busy. All right. But what are you here to do? Where will you go? Because you're on the old zip off the old block. You're heading down to street level off the highway. You need to decide where you're going because you can't coast from here. Hmm. What do you want to do in town? Well, if we're going to be staying here for longer than just a few hours, probably find a place to stay. Probably somewhere where the locals will not exactly harass us and cause problems. You mean harassed does kind of suck. Yeah, you tell me. Apparently a recommended inn in the area is called the Oil Slick Inn. Because I'm cold-blooded doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Looking it up, you can tell that from the pictures, there's um, there's older pictures of the building before and after commonality elements started getting added. Like you got the wood and stone section with the shuttered windows, and then you have this weird, almost cancerous growth of plasteel growing out the other end. The, rot the wooden half is rotting away with construction and restoration efforts. Not really visible, but you can't keep up, ma'am. You can't keep up. Well, Gosh. that can easily be taken care of. But what else do you want to do once you've made your arrangements? Gosh. Well, <clears throat> we're in the right place to go find the Check out for the person you're coming for, right? I thought we haven't got there yet. You're I thought in it was the town. Bigger... Yeah, I thought it was the bi the, uh, the the bigger town on the way. No, Omianto's the capital, but that's not where you're going. Oh. Hold on, let me check my notes again. <laughs> Can you imagine if you're... I mean, there's lots oh. of places where the capital's named after the, the place, but it just feels kind of silly here. What I mean, and then there's one place in America where the capital is named after a different state. Hell yeah! What? You you just go in there and it says solid instead of liquid. Pretty much because one of them's Kansas City, and that's that's pretty liquid. Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, okay, yeah, that's funny actually. Isn't it, it's on uh, the border of Kansas, though. Why isn't it Kansas City? Because Kansas because... In, and Arkansas were named by different... One is English and the other is French. So that's how the language works, huh? Uh, yeah, we steal words and we don't pay So if I hire a Russian to name something, people have to pronounce it differently or get to laugh at them. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Probably. That is how America works. God. Also, Dang. this is exactly the reason why I call Kansas Kansas. And Arkansas or Kansas. Thank you. And actually, well, Kansas is because it's named after a tribe. Mm -hmm. The you, Kansas. Oh, that's actually kind of clever. You mean it's not pronounced Arkansas? You are here for two things, well, by the way. Okay. You are here to perform yes. a general survey on several individuals who are related to the recent terrorist act well, protester activity in Greater Port yes. Town. And you're here to talk to Bwagabargo Sr. What you do outside of that and related to, to your mission is up to you. Fair enough. And no, pull him. It's Arkans. It's Arkansas. Da 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 da. It it is actually Ar also named after natives. It it is Arkansas over here, which is weird. It's uh named after natives as translated by French settlers. <laughs> right. So let's go find those people. <laughs> yep. Let's go <laughs> hunt them. Now. Our friend has graciously sent us some emails with the data on this. Mm. There we go. Okay, let me just copy message link so everybody can go there. Eh. I tell, oops. Yes. That's the one. There we go. So, let's see. Okay. Waga Barga Senior. Okay. Give me a moment. Uh, Something. Yeah. Is everything okay?
Sorry, the weather looked like it was about to turn around and the roof window was open, so. Oh. Yeah, so we should pick one of those people and then go and look into them. All right. So Angry recently put this in a very nice way. While most activities yeah. that take place inside of an RPG are punctual, activities that take place in town over several days and hours are not in fact punctual. They do not exist within a certain spot in time unless otherwise necessary. Basically, they're vague actions. They happen, but the specifics are blurry and stretched out, and if you decide to roleplay it all out, you're an idiot. It's an action you can take care of, but unless there's something special... A.K.A. the montage slash the zoom out slash the happens off screen. Of board games. But, to Brago we go. To Braga Bargo. Yeah. Braga Bargo lives on the edge of town. Perhaps a few decades ago, this would have been beyond the edge of town. But right now, it's right up against some of the new constructions that are happening around the place. Uh, it is a wide building. A few, a few houses, like rooms, are stacked on top of it in an awkward fashion. They are definitely new construction. The outside appears to be mostly made of stacked stones, with some sort of cement in between, allowing it to stand on its own two feet. There is no obvious sign of a foundation or flooring. And just standing outside, the place smells uh, dated. To be polite. Dated. Yeah. While you're standing in front of his house, how do you wish to engage with uh, this fine fellow? I mean, don't suppose they have a doorbell, but we could knock. They might have a doorbell. This place is archaic enough. They, they would actually have an actual doorbell, yeah, probably. You give a, a, a firm knock upon the door. Mm. And soon enough, an old graying... Um, he appears to be a, a Nwacha slash Omnianto. There's not much difference between them. I think their entire separation is, is political in nature. Oh? Yeah. The the, the Nwacha are more down-to-earth, more, like, survivalist. Like the, the, the Van Kruvai, they're more obsessed with the idea of, of the natural state of things. While the Omnianto are progressive, and they look towards the future. Uh, they, they, they want to grow. They form a sort of buffer nation between them and the, the Colombiana. Because the Colombiana are a, are a recent addition to the situation. So... Main point is, this this fellow opens up the door. He's a monkey man dressed in a, a, a practical jumpsuit with a couple of straps to keep it on nice and tight. He mm. looks at you, and his expression goes from, ah, guests to, and why are you here? As they go wide-eyed and, um, lack of words, he just, uh, uh, because he sees, you know, a robot, a strange biological what's-it, and whatever you are. I'm a fox. <laughs> no, he was talking to the yeah. other one. <laughs> That's a puppy, also. That wasn't saying anything. Like I said, he seems a bit speechless at the situation. Hmm. Oh, I suppose we uh should ask if we should go in. Do you mind if we come in? Uh, when you say that, he shifts his body so that he blocks a bit more of the door. His structure hmm. is low to the ground. If you are, like, more than five and a half feet tall, like... Which I am. Which is, like, one minute six, one meter sixty. Like, this mm -hmm. house is made for shorter people than you. Because I'm these sure. are monkey men, and they're way low to the ground. I, I can fold. He kind of body blocks the doorway. Yeah, I understand that. I, I'm just saying. And, and, and gives you another, like, once over. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to introduce Oop. us. Yes, good idea. <laughs> what do you introduce yourself as? Just the names? He politely Probably tells right. you that he doesn't know those people, thus he doesn't know you, or has ever heard of you. Hmm. Well, um, I suppose the one connection that we can basically use here is that the uh, Miss Chungpa back in town has given us your... Uh, I, I guess credentials address. As you begin to try and explain the situation, because there yes. has been a slight awkward pause already, he starts to speak up. Yeah. L listen, if 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 Boaga got himself in tr tr trouble or something, I, I haven't seen him in in just it's it's got nothing to do with me. You you uh, whatever you are. You 
I you mean, look, I can list them by serial You look like you so. walked off the logging yard, if anything. <laughs> In a sense, yes. Yeah, yeah. In a sense. Gotcha. We should probably uh, try to uh, reassure him. We, we are not him for to cause trouble. <laughs> so just looking for information about... Uh, uh yes, an uh, old friend of uh, uh, Noasha Mshamba. But yeah, they already said that they've they're God, but I have a suspicion that they are. They're just saying they're not. He scratches his head for a moment and is that uh... yeah, I think I think Junior hung with someone like that. Yeah. But what... they're yeah. Hesitating um, about the name I gave them, or the person we're saying sent us. Are uh, they talking about has, he, he's, he, he seemed to hesitate on the name you gave him. Hamchampa. Yeah. Can I show a picture? Do you have one that you can actually project <laughs> to him? Like, if he had a mindscape implant, I, this would be easy. But I know that's what we're I'm in the saying. Middle of nowhere. But... They don't have those. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have a veriform body, you could probably just morph into it. But I don't think you do. Yeah, I don't. Uh, well, I assume I might have something like a tablet or something of the sort. Let me check. Presumably. I probably do. I mean, I'm yeah. the person who doesn't remember the Mindscape thing half the time. All right. Uh, he says that she looks familiar, but that's about all you get out of it. Hmm. Again, he would like to know why there's, you know... Because you don't exactly look... You know, th th this... This man doesn't live in an area where you guys would be showing up out of nowhere unless it's something important, and he... Very much. He, he's getting increasingly sweaty about it. Or maybe he just has Parkinson's. Who knows? Parkinson's doesn't make you sweaty. Like some shake? Yeah, it's shaky. Mm. Can, 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 you, can you just tell me what you're doing here? Oh, we were just asked to come check up on a few people from back in uh, the big town. I'm not going to be very good at this because my character is terrible at diplomacy. <laughs> I'm not Which even is... asking you to roll anything yet. I'm yeah, just asking just... you to present your case. I'm not just playing in character, so you wouldn't be very good at this. <laughs> just because you're bad at diplomacy doesn't necessarily mean you, we can't give him the mission. Doesn't mean you Which can't is throw a folder at him. Well, yes, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I could just pull up what we're looking for on my tablet. If Mindscape communication wasn't so fast, he'd probably find the silence quite awkward, but it's like split second, comparatively. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to just start pulling up the mission, the uh, parameters on my tablet. You show those to him? Why would you show the whole thing? Just, just show him well, the I'm name. double-checking to make sure I can tell him what we need to know. Ah. Well, from a technical perspective, this is like a personal inquiry more than anything. Yes. Like, he's not involved with the interrogation you're supposed to be carrying out. This is just like Noasha going, I haven't heard from a childhood friend in a while, can you maybe check up on him? Okay, yeah, just, uh... That's what we what... said already, though. So, yeah, but he said there's someone else again. he hasn't seen in a long time. Hmm? Oh. Early on, he said there's someone else he hasn't seen in a long time. L listen, you, you, in your glassy-eyed what's it's if, if, if this, this got nothing to do with me, and he starts to slowly close it, I'm, 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 I think I'm, I, I, I think I want a lawyer. Well, we're not actually, we're not interrogating, we're not, there's no crime stuff, we were actually just sent to come check up, because, uh, Noasha said she hasn't heard from me in a while. Yes, we are not part of the police or, or anything like that. So we are just uh, checking up because we we happen to be in the area. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I mean. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Well, she was a nice girl. A little too nice for my boy. Uh, come on in. Although I don't think the roof's your height. He steps aside, I'm, door open. I mean, I step in. I'm probably fine. I'm I'm noted to be short. <laughs> Not if you're exposed to the interior of the building. You can tell that the floor is made of dirt. 
packed dirt, like rock solid, years of walking. Huh. I'm familiar with this. As you go inside, you see pictures of him, his son, the character you presume is his wife, or maybe his mother. Family photos of all kinds. The accoutrements are simple, though. This is not a sophisticated apartment. This is a, this is a, a, a probably self-made home, judging by the exposed piping and wiring. He shows you to a small sitting area. It's directly adjacent to a place where there seems to be like this big stone tub in the ground. Uh, he invites you to sit down. I would recommend that Como does not, because your weight yeah, might yeah. not be supported on those furnishings. Yeah, it's fine. I can just crouch. Look, so, I'm, I'm supposed um, to be able to do squats. So, so, so what, what does she want to know? Is there a reason she didn't feel like just... I mean, I guess calling me would be a bit weird, huh? Listen, I don't know much about him anymore. He's kind of drifted out of my life of late. Is that normal? Well... <laughs> Listen, boy, it ain't normal for people around here to leave their familial home. While oh, it... did you get married? Oh, no. No? If he got married, if anything, he'd be, like, living right around the corner or something like. Or maybe expanding the poor place with his own place. But no, 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 listen. You start to tell that um, the smell around here is kind of weird. Got oh. that bachelor smell of, like, there's crumbs in the corner rotting. Listen, I, uh... I saw my son drop out of high school. I think you got a little upset when they had to open up the new place. And he didn't get along well with his teachers or the principal. And he dropped out. He started getting a little weird with that little girl. He started talking about us, how she doesn't get something or nothing. And I told him... Hey, you should be going to college, because I, I see where this all is going, you know, with the you, you types and your big thinking. Ain't going to be a job for people like him who don't uh, know how to work the, the machines in the future, and then I was going to put bread on the table. <laughs> but then one day, he's just gone, and uh, it's been quiet since. Not even a letter or a message? I haven't heard a peep. Best I know, he's dead under a car. Died minutes after I saw him leave. Do you know any people he was really associating with that we could go and check out? Well, nobody that I haven't lost too much contact with. I mean, like... I kept in touch with his teacher, and it's not like other students vanished, so wouldn't be one of those. Mm. Best I... He suddenly looks you over one more time and suddenly just mutters and trails and covers his mouth and looks away. What is it? You know, we we can't help look for him if you don't no, tell us what's no, up. No, 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 no. nothing you should be worrying yourself about. Well, I mean, what uh, are the... Uh, ex what are the odds that somebody else will be able to swing by who might just, you know... Take a look. Not like out of obligation, but you know, because we're in the area. Like yeah, we we've said, got some reason why we're helping. Uh, we're just here to help. Ah, right, let's. Right, I'm just... Well, I mean, um, I suppose. Okay, so there's the whole virtual reality implant thing, but is there something a bit more traditional, like a phone, on this planet? Well, the. Yes, there's the infonet. Would they be able to contact us through that if we leave them a number? For you? Unfortunately, the infonet and the Mindscape are fundamentally incompatible. The Mindscape's too fancy. Mm. Would it be possible for them to contact Hamchampa directly? Possibly. Hum Hamchampa still seems to be on the infonet. Okay, and then Hamchampa maybe can decide what sort of information to give to us about that. You know, when, when, when that person actually decides they're ready to, like... They want to do something with it. He doesn't look like he wants to tell anyone about this. Well, fair enough. But there is a friend, and if they so desire, they can do it. Again, not, not necessarily our job, but, you know, if they want to help, we can try taking a look. As you sit around for a moment, mm -hmm. you suddenly get this massive headache. 
How can a robot get just, a headache? And then it clears up. That is what happens when the mindscape falls out momentarily. Oh. Somebody pulled out my Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi skipped for a minute. Yeah. You're, you're right there. You look like a... I mean, I, 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 did, I didn't mean to offend or nothing. Mm. No, no, internet. What, what, <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? The what net? Uh, info, just our phone. He, he, he grabs, like, on a small table next to the sofa he's on. Like, eh, the mm. info net's still working. Mm. Yeah, but the reception we have isn't very good out here. It's kind of far out. Nah, I can just download whatever I want. My little terminal. I don't know what even. I get 15 kilobits per second. <laughs> uh, you can download Doom and run it on Poland. So you contacted Tom Chomp about this? Uh, I'd like to send them a message, yes. That we've checked up on the person. Uh, here's their... We, we, can we share like your contact info with them on the internet? If so, then we'll do that like in email or whatever. And then just move on, I suppose. I, I don't want to pry on this person because they're probably still connected to well, whatever's going on. Because uh, internet doesn't cut out... Excuse me. Mindscape doesn't cut out like that. You get a message back that comes from two sides. On one end, oh. she's like, listen, if you can't connect to these people and loosen up their tongue, then I don't know why you're sent here to fix trouble. And if he is involved with this and you're going to start backing off on that, then you're also not doing your job. I'm not sure where that's coming from because the... Okay. <laughs> so She's being polite and jokey about it. Like, hey, listen, I, I, I know what you're trying to do here, but how about you show to me that you know what your job is because... <laughs> Gosh. I thought I could trust you with just asking an old man about his son. Well, no. I mean, we, did, we didn't, and they said they might have some information, some knowledge, but they don't want to share it with us. But we've been meaning to check with you if you, perhaps, could monitor it. And then if they want to share it with you, you can share it with with us. Like, in that sense, because we're strangers well, I mean, to they that probably person. wouldn't trust us being like, hey, you want to talk to someone on the other side of my brain? No, we're not doing that. We're just literally giving them the email so they can use the infinite, because we're not on the infinite. You get a little chuckle from Nawasho for the the mindscape, a mental chuckle. Mm. But it, but if this is really how you want to do it, she'll she'll take care of it when she's done I with mean, work today. Well, we it's still trying. No, to that's well. It's not. It's not even taking care of it. It's just hey, can we give your email so if they have an idea, they can send it to you because they can't otherwise contact us, and we can't like we should we just sit here until they like you know figure out things. What what are you talking about? Figure out. You <laughs> just oh, us you just told us that Vagabargo yes is senior. hesitant senior exactly yes he's mm. hesitant to share information yes but they know Hom Champa and I said hey how about we give you Hom Champa's email so if you know you decide to share you some mean Hom Champa the person he barely something. remembers as well yes <laughs> yeah well yeah the, the son connection. knew her. No, but there is something we could do. We could uh, maybe go to the the school. Um, the the, uh, this guy was uh, was going to the, when he dropped and uh, ask around if he had any friends uh, there. Since uh, it's uh... well, I mean, we could also ask if there's any information on a girl that he was hanging out with, because the girl has disappeared too, I assume. Absolutely. Yeah. But... Let's ask him about that. What? Oh, yeah, oh, that, that was so... that, that was my mistake. I assumed that. That uh, Ham Champa knew uh, Wagabarga Senior. Apparently not well. Yeah. And maybe the school will be uh, glad, maybe uh, happy Did to see us. Did we get a name on that girl? <laughs> what girl? The girl the that Wagabarga was uh, hanging out with before disappearance. I mean, you mentioned like. I don't recall mentioning specifically a girl on that part, though. Excuse like, me? I did mention that he started ha that he hung out with Nawasha, and that came up. But I don't think I specifically mentioned that he started hanging out with a girl. I think yeah. they're conflating the idea that uh, he talked about marriage, which didn't happen. But uh, uh, let's go back to talking to him instead of trying to pass it off. Yeah, clearly so, the man is uh, is sad about uh, his uh, son disappearing. So 
he, I think if he knew something, he would tell us. So, uh, but we should try to empathize with him instead of just going for informational questions. Yes. Why is we, it that uh, every single time that I present players with a character who doesn't immediately spill all the beans, their answer is, "I guess we can't get anything out of him and leave." Because have so you ever tried getting nice. information? <laughs> have you ever tried asking a person I, who said no again? They're just gonna get I'm not, mad. I'm not telling you. Listen, Como, Como. what Sav is saying is instead of just asking just for information, having mm -hmm. only questions, maybe we try to get to know the guy a little bit, there empathize, are, let me, let me discuss just, with him. Let me just lay it out. There are so <laughs> many ways you can empathize with someone that are, maybe you can offer him a drink, maybe you can try to like be like, listen, this is important, we're trying to find him, etc. You can try to create a case, <sighs> you can pressure him, you can just kind of schmooze, be like trying try to loosen up or talk about some other topics. You can... Create. You can just tell me I want to try and buddy him up a bit, and then drop into the questions. You know, slide in, and that would have to be specific about it. I think what I was wanting to do for a little bit now. But unfortunately, you're not the social character, so you can't make suggestions. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> well, also, everybody else is busy talking about like the internet or whatever. <clears throat> well. Um... Going to to look around uh, the a, a bit uh, around the, the the room. You you mentioned uh, earlier um, some apparent pipes and uh, and stuff. Uh, technical technical stuff. Um, is is there some things that could be improved uh, that I could uh, maybe I don't know uh, offer to help him with? Um, I mean, repairing I got... it. Repairing it. I got an easy one actually. So the place is pretty messed up, and yeah, you know, there's like the bachelor smell going on and all what? that. The piping appears to be and wiring appears to be fully functional, if comparative to your personal standards, god awful. <laughs> like you're used to wiring and all being like smooth inside the walls. This is just like I don't have walls where I can put my pipes because it's all just stacked stone. How the fuck do you put a pipe in that? drill. Well, apparently this man doesn't own a power drill to drill his pipings. Black and Decker has not expanded here yet. <laughs> I mean, the forest, the forestry industry probably doesn't have a need for it either. Well, I do have um, uh, a bot that could uh, drill some uh, holes uh, everywhere. Uh, anyway, um, yes, maybe it's uh, that's the way to go. So, can I make my suggestion? Go ahead. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was still here. No, I don't have to say anything. Done. I don't know, it's just every time I've tried, I haven't been Yeah, I know, to I want to always be the guy who says, yeah, sure, go for it, but I'm not the party. I don't, I'm not responsible for that. I've just been talked over a lot. I know. Just be like, just get a look at the dude. Be like, okay, hey. Uh, no, you don't want to talk about it yet, but please. Uh, you want please. to get out of the house a bit? Want to go grab a? What time of day is it? It's probably like late afternoon. You've been driving for a few hours at the very least. So. Want to go grab an early dinner? Hang out a bit. Just get out of the house. I know how being stuck in the house sucks. All right, as. A... <laughs> Kind of weird for like three random strangers to come inside, ask about a son, they'd be like, hey, you want to go for dinner? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's hmm. just kind of a thing. You know, we've been hanging out. We see that he could probably use some company. You know what? He'll take that offer. All right. But here's the deal. You pick the place. We'll handle dinner. Well, we don't know the, the place is nearby. So what's good? <laughs> Delightful. He'll take you over Looks to the robot. <laughs> he takes you over to what you, you, you know. You know the place. It's the kind of bar where the the blue collar people hang out when they're done with work. Love these places. Uh, and directly next to it is also a restaurant. If said blue collar workers are too tired to go home and make dinner or have dinner, 
and just want food shoveled in their mouths. But you're taken inside of this lovely flat building. Uh, there aren't many people here because it's still technically during the working hours. And most people here, they work the whole day. What is this? Cl is Claire drinking lube? What? Wait, what? what? What's Claire doing? Is this in your chat? What? God dang it, Claire. Busy. I can't focus if I see... Whoa. Despite the fact that there aren't many people here, the atmosphere is quite upbeat. Again, the fact that you are currently present inside the building causes almost immediate everyone to almost immediately turn towards you for a moment. Although shortly afterwards, they abandon this particular course of action and return to their personal conversations and ministrations. You take a little seat in one of those lovely little cabins. Unfortunately, once more, not made for your big, long legs. It's fine. Don't kick a baby. He's going to end up in the Mario painting. What? You know the Supposed memes where people yeah. fall on the ground and like the okay, Mario painting thing happens? I've done a lot of evil things, but I've never kicked a baby. Yeah. I've never kicked a baby in the bob on battlefield either, but... I blew Supposed a bunch of babies up player. once. It's not the same thing. did, and I'll never forget that. I mean, it was a cool exploding axe. Too bad he Wait, no, I did. I did drop kick a baby at least three times in Dead Space. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, those don't really count. Anyways, so yeah. As you have a seat, go in. A, 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 a lovely, he orders what he considers to be the local drink. And the best way I can describe it is... Imagine if you didn't just ferment grains, but also meats. That actually makes wine better. Yeah, but it probably isn't something that you're accustomed to in the commonality, if only because it might be considered a very significant health hazard. Maybe, but I'm a robot. I can yes. analyze that stuff. You're probably going to have to explain that as the bottle sits in your front of your face. I mean, Thank God you I have an enhanced metabolism. <laughs> can you imagine I just sip it and I just immediately get covered with rust with the sound of like a aluminum can getting crushed. <laughs> oh my god, I'm the only person here who calls it aluminum. Yes, because you're American. I just realized that. Aluminum and aluminum. I don't care, both are fine. Over here it's aluminum. Well, yeah, it's actually <laughs> uh, they're both actually correct. It's because of communication back when mm -hmm. aluminum was first uh, isolated. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, America it's... got a different uh, edition of the study. Which is silly. So we just <laughs> stuck with it. <laughs> it it's fine. So, Anyways, who here wants I'm to warm me carouse? Carouse is a skill? Yes. 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 The, 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 during creation, Safi and I found it, and I was like, wait, is this just partying hard? Okay, I've got yes. a zero on carouse. What do you guys got? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Let's be honest, I'm a boring robot. Um, Krauss, exactly... Well, I have exactly zero specifically, which means it's not a negative. I have I am, an actual zero, too, so... I am actually trained in it, just not very well. <laughs> you know what? Let me roll a 2d6, see how this goes. I'll, t I'll start by taking a sip of the drink they gave me. 2d6, let's do it. And a 4. How did you do that? How how did I do what? A one and a three. No, neither. I'm no. a throw in too because I'm a try a sip. Yeah, that's, but you might have a penalty. That's not how exactly. the carouse rule works. <laughs> how does it work? The carouse rule is a social check. The idea oh. of carouse oh, so is you... is anything from trying to gather information at a party to holding your mm -hmm. liquor over a night to just schmoozing people in a very friendly fashion. Well, I don't, I don't. I don't need to roll to hold the liquor overnight because I succeed on all <laughs> those checks. Well, yeah, but that this is uh like how good are you at the social element of it? Oh. Mm. So I'm gonna try to chat him up while I drink this stuff and possibly die. Uh -oh. Aha! I beat you. Well, yeah, you beat me, but I'm mad out of metal. An average roll is it requires an eight and up. So. Yeah. The two of you become confronted with the fact that this man has a very acquired taste. Yes. And it somewhat impedes your capacity to empathize with him, or at least appear empathetic. Yeah. Although he seems to find it quite funny, judging by the laughter that he's trying to resist. I mean, look, it, it, laugh, be, being being uh, a butt monkey, pun unintended, is also a good thing. Oh, you out of town, just can't take your booze, can you? 
It's also a very different drink from what I'm used to. My hometown was all like grain beers. <laughs> Why is it that every single time I see one of you out of off planet people, one of you what's it's you always like it ain't like this up where I come from. Because we're Fine. drawing comparisons to the things we're familiar with. Also you see many um off worlders. Ow. Dang it, I caught myself by accident. No como. Como no no. It's fine. Oh, no. I have bandages right here. Hold on. <coughs> I just had a knife at the edge of my plate and I swing my arm and I caught it myself. Yeah. Listen, I... Anyway. What's up? You... There are many people around here that are from off-world. In case you didn't catch quite on to it, most of your kind tend to stick to the big cities and the big roads and the big places. Yeah. Motortown is, is a hard-working, proper countryman kind of place. There ain't no fancy things to look at or take pictures of with your cameras. This is where real men make a living. Oh my god. I had the dumbest idea ever. I'm not going to act on it. Sorry. Like sometimes I even wonder if you and your type even know what alcohol's for. Because I get the impression none of you drink on the regular. I mean... I. This town is bigger than my home. <laughs> well, I don't mean nothing. Like, we used the beer because it had a lot of, like, a lot of calories in it, so you could drink it, and we could get back to work, because I'd be out, like, hunting for, like, three days. You hunt drunk? That's just irresponsible. It's not that strong of alcohol. It's a beer. Well, why do you even bother with it? Because uh, the fermenting makes a lot of sugars. This guy is funny. And it keeps a long time. Where the hell you come from that that's the stuff you use to get your... To your, 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 your what's it called from? Buzz? You from a planet that's... I mean, I heard your type calling this place backwater. You from a place that's more backwater than this? Like, we just joined up with all these people, so I'm not used to this either. Oh, so, so, so you're another one of those people who got every one of those fancy science people stomping all over your stuff. But I don't know if it's the whole planet. I haven't been home. And now you're yeah. working for them. Taking care of that I dirty ain't... laundry in other places. I mean, they usually send me for, like, frontiers, so I can <laughs> see lots of places. Oh yeah, with well, a frontier, gotcha. I can imagine Pullum's character making that face and saying, it's a living to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it just it, The whole screen goes black for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Da -da. Well, well, I mean, it beats being a vacuum cleaner, honestly. <laughs> the hell's that supposed to mean? That's some kind of squinty robot humor? Uh, it, yes. That's a common insult used against me. I don't get it. You ain't, you don't look like a vacuum cleaner. You look like one of them Colombianans. Uh, yes, actually. But, you know, I think it's... Not one that the... I actually look like a vacuum cleaner. It's more like an insult. Well, I've never seen a vacuum you. cleaner that looks like a straight back, so... That's fair enough. Well, you know how everybody calls lizards a pair of boots? Even though they don't look like boots? Considering that he's already consumed quite some alcohol, he's just, like, squinting at you at this point. I mean, that's Excuse fine. Hell. Listen, I don't... What the hell is this? A crew manifest? Oh, I know. That's from the thing I was gonna... Listen, all I know Wait, is... Wait, is that what he says? No! The crew manifest is something I got. Ah. It's, it's in my notes section. But it's, like, from the old one. Because I was gonna have a warm-up thing first. But... Gosh. He he picks up a bottle and gives you the old the closes of one eye and he points the bottle at you. I'll yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll he'll, you know you Yes. I'll 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 give you what I know, but it's just whatever's up with the boy, please don't go go easy on him. He's just Honest. a dumb old idiot who decided to drop out of school when he should have gone to college. Hmm. 
He started hanging out with people I ain't never seen before. Not even there to school when I came to pick them up and drop them off. They looked, uh... What's it called? You know, you know like... Uh, older. They looked older than anyone that would go to high school. Huh. Well... Heck, I think they even took him to uh, to the to the crack clan. Yeah, that's a bar. That's a that's a place you buy the drinks. Huh. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a bar they'd like people like you. I heard they don't Probably take only the squints. Hmm. <laughs> the, the, he stayed with people who were older, who looked older than him. Well, maybe they stayed for a second year a few times. <laughs> Susie, no. Yes. So, do you know any of the people he went with? Like, names At all? or anything? Yeah. Because we just want to make sure the kid's okay, you know? I mean, he pretty much just called them strangers. He has no idea who they are. Like, his mm. son... Would you get from the conversations that his son clearly did not bother introducing them? Or perhaps didn't even want to introduce them if he had to? Oh. Well, they started getting really distant at that point. Yeah. Well, at least we have a place to start with. At least there's that. But yeah, this is getting spooky. Would you call that place uh, dangerous for people like us? That's literally what he said. Yeah, I'll try to lie my way in like I did before. It probably won't work, but, you know... <laughs> Get the advantage of a misunderstanding back then. Well, and also bullshitting that I'm from another part of the, <laughs> of the planet. It's not, I know you're nice types, but you should be real, real careful around it, because with everything happening around that, oh, what's his name again? There, uh, those red jackets are getting a little more anxious every day. Hmm. I've met a few of them. I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to throw the whole world council up there. The shit if they get the chance. Mm -hmm. I can't really blame him though. You, you know who's talking for you? You got that golden boy. Golden asshole, him, yeah. He ain't exactly pleading a good and then the other person pleading your case. He's on the T V all the time. Now he 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 he's got like what 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 you call it, the the Mavatars? The 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 thing you put on your infonet profile. He's got one of those, but I'm pretty sure he's like the whole god dang the, the thing in the sky. In front, uh, brain blast question to uh, the robot. Does the thing in the sky talk? I think he's talking th about the guy in the tower. No, man. Gosh, I'm looking for one. Yes, uh, the satellite. Uh, he's talking about Breath uh, of Dawn. Yes. The, mm. the in artificial <laughs> intelligence that is managing the corpus of the Mindscape ter uh, node. Oh, gotcha. So yes, he's literally talking about a talking space station. And his little avatar, because, you know, it's a talking space station. It doesn't fit in the camera. It doesn't fit in the shot. Yeah, so so, so they're doing a VTuber thing. So you got, you got that, and then you got a guy who keeps talking about how you're the best thing to happen since sliced bread. What do you think's going to happen? God, I'm not know. sure. He holds his... I punched that guy so hard he'd bleed an hour if I had the chance. That guy doesn't know honest work, and if he saw it in front of himself. I mean, honestly, it would be kind of impressive, but probably not a good idea. I worked all my good goddamn years over at the log, and now my son's gone, my wife's gone. Who did I work for, huh? So some golden boy can show up and start claiming he owns the place. He leans over the table as he starts to get on that drunken guy kind of rant. That's uh, fine. Should I, I lean too? I did not vote for Vrexim. I did not vote for him. And he's sitting up there in the council making all the choices. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and I see how that pissed you right the hell off. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of Golden Boy either. Talked to him once, didn't like him. Seems like a you golden dick. 
How in what what do they put in your food that you could resist the urge to punch him? I saw him before I saw him open his mouth and I wanted to punch him. I was there the whole time. Like, I'm going to punch you. Like, that was my exact thought. I'm going to punch him sometime. Oh. But nope, couldn't punch him then because he was too far away and there were guards. <laughs> Actually, the room you were in didn't have any guards. I know, she's no. making this up. Oh, you're lying. Well, it's well, very basic. Are you and good also, at lying? She's partially... This is not really lying. This is just like, how would they tell? It's like, well, they, yeah, also there are guards. lies. There were guards in the building. <laughs> that's yeah. that's not it's what I'm not talking about. Do you have literally any skill in deception? Because otherwise, funny. Yeah, I have a point. Okay, cool. That's good. <laughs> that's good enough. Like, if you have none, you'd probably stumble over it. But if you got some, then it's like, yeah, sure, a small lie just smooths right over. That's silly. Yeah, I've got one in deception. Like I said, you really should. You 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 shouldn't be out. You should not. If you if you gotta go anywhere, you stay north of the Arids. You stay east of Noasha. And you, if you go, you don't go further than the archipelago. Because once you once you go, once you go over there, they'll come for you. The Van Gruvar, man, they, they, you know those those straight backs ain't no big trouble. But Noasha will eat you alive, and the attacks. I don't know what they're up to. But hold on, I can't find. Find it on the map. Could you ping it? What ping what? Uh, Nuasha. It's a big green. Oh yeah, the big green country. See, I'm zoomed in all the way, and I'm looking for a small (laughs) name, and it's like the biggest name around. (laughs) Oh my god! I I didn't notice the elephant in the room. Yes. I'm assuming the archipelago is that part very south. Because that's the only archipelago. Anyway, it's unlikely this guy knows too much more. You, that's fine. You, you, you have some minor small talk, but it seems like he's giving you everything he knows. If he is connected to his son, he's very good at keeping a tight lip. Mm. I know, and at this point, we're just I'm just falling through on the whole giving him some company, helping him, you know, Excellent. get out of it. Well, it's a little while nice. later. There's still some time left in the day if you want to do anything specific. Well, we're going to make sure he gets home, because he's probably wasted. You can walk the distance, really. There's not a lot of car traffic around here. It's 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 polite. Fine, yeah. you're polite. He but waves you goodbye as he closes the door and says that it's nice to see some out of town who got who know how to drink. Get your rest, good man. It sounds like a nice dad. Wait, I just noticed there's a uh, dot on the map. William Shatner is a city. Where? Where? I think... Oh, Shatner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the place where nobody can act, and they're all kind of fat. He's actually a pretty good actor. It's a place where you go if you don't like red-letter media because of what the fans keep yelling. And because he watched one wrong YouTube video. Yeah, which is... Super silly. I keep laughing my ass off that he saw the nerd crew and thought it was real. You watched, excuse me, what? The nerd crew. That's the video that Chatner saw and he thought they were corporate sellouts, which is the whole fucking point of the video. Yes. Look, he's like 86 now. Or 90 something. This this, this stuff is is hard. But, uh. You could even say that he. Overact. <laughs> All right. Is there anything oh. you would like to do after you've shown this man home and he's waved you goodbye? Gosh, I made my chest hurt. Um. Well, we heard about that that one bad bar, the cracked clam. We're going to friggin' Family Guy. No, that's the drunken clam, and they probably yeah. refer to the land clams they have around here. That scares me a bit. Why? Clams are clams are terrifyingly dangerous. Don't oh yes, so. the the land clams are basically living bear traps. Wow. See, space is terrifying, but every time I hear about something that lives on the planet, I'm like, yeah, I I just want to go back. But uh, yeah, let, I'm not going to go into that bar yet. 
I just want to go and uh, take a look around, see what the area is like, see if who all's passing through, like how busy the place is. Roll me intellect recon. Actually, how about dexterity recon? Because it's kind of more about the view than it is. Okay, so that's plus one and recon. Can what, I help them? What What are you doing, Como? Uh, can I help them? You can help them. How good are your reconnaissance? Uh, three. All right. Then you can almost certainly roll me for one as well. Just 36? Yeah. You're training. You're basically helping. You add a bonus to their roll, and then you can get more effect if you do well. Okay. Wow. I had a plus four, and you matched me. Good job, Como. <laughs> I, I, I literally not all my skill goes into rolling dice. Marvelous. No, I mean, like, that's a damn good roll. Yes, it's a 10 so plus 3, see. so it's a, like a 13. Okay, you add 1, which means you add 1 to the effects. It's like average. So, if you want to ask anything specific, go for it. But otherwise, the Cracked Clam is about what you'd expect from a bar that's, you know, visited by rowdy people, apparently. It's two stories high. It strikes a bit of that Western saloon impression, you know. A lot of people coming in and out. Uh, there are is definitely like one or two people who seem to never move from the doorway on the outside and seem to almost certainly be on the lookout for something. Other than that, it's well, not like you know anyone who's entering too. and leaving. Hmm. So is there okay, so it seems pretty busy. Seems rowdy. Uh, how many exits does the place have, just in case something goes wrong? I was wondering. There's almost certainly the windows on the bottom and top floor. There appears to be an employee entrance in the back. Hmm. And a loading bay door to the other side. So a few exits, yes. Is it uh, isolated or in the middle of... Uh, on the edge? That's, good. That's a good question. What is? What? Uh, is it like a nice day building or like around other it's, stuff? It's on, a, like... it's on a busy street. Uh. So it, the back entrance is like leading to alleyways. Well, what is your plan, then? Well, I can go in there and try to see if I could BS my way through. And if not, we just start a bar fight. <laughs> just like that. Uh... I mean, that's pretty much guaranteed to happen if this doesn't work out. I have a weapon that can punch holes through buildings. Are you sure you want to start a fight? Como literally has a, building that can clear, has a gun that can clear out this whole building in one shot if you want it. <laughs> I, like the, I like the idea that he has a building that can clear this building. The this building. Is one. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, it can be considered a building because it was transformers, built. buildings in disguise. Yes. <laughs> go hospital. Well, you know what? what? What we could do is that you can go inside, and I have a little drone that can monitor like the back exit and everything. Is there an ambulance transformer? Uh, yeah, there probably is. Uh, I don't know. Transformers That's a war crime. <laughs> Because There's a that... lot of war crimes, like the giant gun. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking specifically that that means that someone is masquerading as medical emergency personnel while being a soldier. Oh, wait. Of course. It was one of the earliest Transformers. Ratchet. Yep. I'm pulling him up. This is like an actual 100% can be tried for war crime. Not really. I think it's only if you transport out of cover or you paint it. Oh, not that. Yeah, you know what it is. It is. Uh... If, if it is totally. It's totally if, war. If if Ratchet is in is an, is a soldier in the war and not exclusively non military medical personnel, then he qualifies as a war crime. Yeah, which he much. does have a gun. Here. I mean, he can have a gun for self defense. That's not the problem. But it's a robot. It's not a person. If he actively partakes <laughs> in combat, American. is the problem. I love that it's called TF Wiki. Couldn't get away with that nowadays. Yeah. I like the way they write articles. Every wiki They're has its own little, little stylings. Yeah, I try I tried introducing it to mine and I got In bullied. In a different gender related coincidence. What? Welcome to Transformers. Da -dun -dun -da -dun. Oh, all right. All right. Hands on the table. Yes. You're observing this place? What's the plan? Why the plan? When's the well, plan? the why, the what, how the plan. Uh, so the plan is, I want to get in there and I want to see if we can figure out about where the kid went or who he was hanging with. 
And I'm assuming this is Salty's platoon rule, so I just gotta get in there and you just gotta have tough. You know, toughest guy gets what they want. Fair enough. So you approach the building and go inside. Anyone else got anything to add or say? Well, mm. aside from stay safe, I suppose, and don't try not to get killed. Holy shit. Cool. What the hell? It's Colombo. That's Colombo. Yeah. <laughs> you watch as Ala heads in over to the building. The two mm -hmm. guys who flank the doorway kind of scoop aside. Now, to avoid future... To avoid future confusion, I'm going to launch that little drone thingy. You got Eat a Van Groove Eye who looks uh, big and burly, and you got a Nawacha who looks like they're looking for trouble. Mm. And they dress like it, too. Although the Nawacha is nude compared to most people. He's just got a jacket, and it's like, hmm, I guess the fur does cover it up. And then I start reading that excerpt that Zyla posted earlier. <laughs> it's just so everyone feels extra uncomfortable. Gosh. You gave me a weapon they're you just, didn't want me to use. They're just reading that book. <laughs> the two of them scoot over, and they give you a sharp look. This uh -oh. uh, ain't a place for... What's it called? Yeah. Yeah, this ain't no place for people like you. What do you mean people like me? You look like a squint. Do I look like I'm squinting to you? The Noasha kind of peels off the wall and goes around you... Well, I mean, to be fair, it's like late. Actually, it's always the darkness that causes people to squint. So if anything, since it's evening, it'd even be worse. Well, you don't look like an Ectec. You don't look like a Nwasha. You don't dress mm -hmm. like an Armiento. And you sure as hell don't look like a long leg. So, what's the excuse going to be? Oh. What? No, 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 that's not, not nothing. Go ahead. I'm just looking for my own notes, and I'm comparing if I actually had all those races, and I did. Yeah, the other side of the street, Como was sitting at, like, one of those dainty, like, cafe tables. <laughs> like, the French cafe stereotype. <laughs> That's opposite of the rowdy cowboy <laughs> bar. has a newspaper up. <laughs> He's the whole yeah. it. Hey, last time you told me I was making it too silly. Now you're making me silly on purpose. Yeah, that was because you were interrupting conversation with jokes. Mwah. Fair enough. You know what? That's a good point. This is us just pointing out that you're sitting there with a newspaper with holes cut for the eyes. Yeah, you're trying to be like super uh, subtle. No, the drone is behind. Is is the one looking through the newspaper holes? The drone, the drone also has a newspaper. The drone is probably hovering over the building or something. I, li I like the idea that Palm's character is the one who's holding up the newspaper. <laughs> Palm's the only one who knows how to actually be subtle. All right. So yeah. Zyla, you're you're getting uh you're getting a little grill here. They're, they're turning on the heat. Well, yeah, of course you haven't seen us. Not many of us. We're from uh, pretty close south, kind of between the Lion Snow Lair and uh, the Savannah. The south. <laughs> the Colombianas. Always thought they were weirdos. Now they're doing the, what is that gene building they call it? The gene modding? The shampoo? The shampoo? <laughs> you got him. Shampoo in the ears. <laughs> Gross. Now that'd be the fox if she was out, but no, I I use shampoo every few days. Commonality would still say fucking gross. My hair's not good with shampoo. The kind of hair I have. Listen, this is the commonality. They will make you the shampoo so you stop being dirty. <laughs> Bath time is mandatory. <laughs> yes. Anyway, they're going like, like ah, nah, nah. they're 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 grilling you. They're putting on the pressure. They're tightening the thumb screws on you. They're giving you the old squinty eye, which is ironic. I yeah. know. I know they're calling me squinty. They're the ones squinting. Oh my god! You're yeah. using, you're using their own weapons against. Them. In my own dojo. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna if you keep up with it, gonna talk about, you know, being on that sort of level between the two areas. Give me and being a small group. Give me intellect deception as you try and weave a web of lie, try to juke them. Try to resist the pressure as they try to get you to squeal. I need to actually click on it. That's intellect plus whatever your deception is. 
They don't look too sure about it. They... Come on. As you said on the other side of the street, this conversation's been going for like a few minutes. Yes. And these guys seem to be laying it's, on the pressure more and more. What is the backup plan if they start to get rowdy? Like rough and physical. Well, we still have the other cute dog girl to send in. <laughs> mm. But well, if they actually that... if if they actually attack, I'm just gonna swing by and say, Hey, this so is expensive. What's don't, the backup don't, don't, what's the don't backup plan going dangerously furry? Going dangerously furry. You pull the goldfish out of your pocket. I mean, maybe, yes. Nobody can resist the pocket but... goldfish. Oh, gosh. I mean, we all have the connection, so I assume we can be both on like on the same channel online, talking about this shit yeah. posting. Um, swing by and say, "Hey, you ran off again or something." You just pick him up and just carry them away or something. Tyler, hmm. as you as you're yeah. pretty sure you're you're managing the situation quite aptly, you suddenly hear the footsteps of one of your friends coming closer behind you. Just gonna start sending over. No, I think I got this. Wait, Leave hold on. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna carry them away right now. I'm just saying this is like if something happens, that's the backup. Okay. Well, they decide to lighten up a bit. All right, then you can go on in. Hmm. But if anything fishy starts to happen, we'll know who to ask first. The interior of this place is what you'd expect it to be. Thick smoke. People sitting around dimly lit tables. The only place where the lights are bright is the bar. Where drinks is it are served. Yes? Is it possible to, like, record the video feed of that? Of what? From Xyla's eyes, for future reference. If Xyla wants to do that, yes. Because we're going to get pretty much every single criminal uh, in, 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 in the vicinity on tape. They haven't done anything wrong that we know of. Yet. That's an invasion of privacy. They might be doing something wrong right Sala, now. Sala, you're the, you're the commonality KGB. You have to start recording them now. Yes. <laughs> no. Sorry to tell you, Sala, but I lied. Turns out you're the SS all along. <laughs> no! I've been the Nazi! <laughs> the concentration camp was your heart! On the bright side, at looks least so, we're going we're gonna to get... Looks at my helmet, uniforms. which has... Uh, has a skull and spikes on it. Am I the baddie? Are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just your pirate hat. <laughs> I'm fairly sure I'm carrying something akin to like a naval gun, so yes, they probably want us to work. Zyla, you have no fucking clue who in this room is important and who isn't. Yeah, I'm going to the bartender. The bartender is surprisingly not an Omnianto or a Noasha. It is oh? a gruff, stout looking. You're not sure. You're I going to have to ask for pronouns. But whoever they are, they look like they could probably pick up the whole bar and hit you on the head with it. Oh I'm going to ask for those pronouns because that would be rude. They claim it's to a be a lady. Day. But why would they lie? Also, Sila, I can't believe you actually managed to endure asking for pronouns. I've heard from so many Republicans that it's impossible and the most exhausting thing ever. Sorry, I, I just died a lot on the inside. Now I actually am the Nazi. It is harder than asking for someone's name. I've been told. Mm. Really? Yeah. I Republicans don't know. throw fits about this shit. Which is funny because it's literally as easy as just saying your name. And now they make name tags with pronouns and they're like, no, my plans! Yeah, Republicans are sad. They have nothing Look, to fight I... for but destruction of the world, so it's hard to market. I will 100% forget your name and I, I will address you as excuse me. <laughs> Zala, this person is, this lady is like arm on the on the thing and leaning in. You know, you don't, been, uh... you don't look like you're supposed to be here. But what can I get you? Sorry, I was typing something. There it is. <laughs> uh, what you got for beers? Because I know every culture has different. Every uh, city around here has different beers. This basically means that you're on our mindscape, like, swish, 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 what, 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 what do they call beers? Yeah, I'm on the internet pulling up all the different options, trying to find one that'd be palatable. Pulling that one spot over and over. Listen, Silo, this bar is fucking dirty. They are not cleaning it while they're talking to customers. 
Yeah, or they're holding one glass and they're cleaning the glass. The glass has been clean for an hour. The glass well, has been... doesn't even have a cloth on her hand, so... Uh... <laughs> the glass has been six times taller before the shift I started. I this little boy hugging. Listen. Beers. That's a good lizard. <laughs> how Cultural strong... How strong are you looking? Yeah. So I can give you something stout, with honestly. the kick of rocket fuel. If you want it. Chill, I want something I can taste at the end of the day, but still pretty strong. Like... Car fuel, maybe. Not rocket. <laughs> Her, one of her hands is under the, the bar during this entire encounter. And she backs off. and Just give me a moment. And it takes her very little time to whip you something up with a shaker and the lot. What she oh, puts man, in front of you contains a variety of ingredients. You have no clue what most of them are. But one thing you can't... Oh man, that's sweet and sour. With a hint of bitter. Here you Do go. I smell meat? Surprisingly not. Thank Christ. Thank you, Space Jesus. There's probably I mean, a Space Jesus out there somewhere. It is probably a guy who got to the maximum tech level and just retired. Anyway, so you have a you have a nicely freshly made cocktail in front of you. The bartender just asks you, so what exactly are you here for? Uh, out of town. Oh yeah, I figured you'd be out of towner considering that I haven't seen you before and I know most people who come around here. Yeah, I'm actually just out here uh was hang uh, meeting up with a friend of mine, actually trying to find him. I haven't seen what's him. What's his name? What what's the guy we're looking for his name again? I don't know which Hold person on. in specific you're talking about. The son. The <laughs> That's Blogger Bargo Jr. Yeah. yeah, you can see why I didn't remember that out after. <laughs> this is the first time in any fucking RPG anyone's ever used this naming structure because everyone's like, no, but that's just confusing. It's like, nope. You gotta Wait, throw on. it at your players. Mean? It's funny. What do you mean naming structure? Most people don't use the senior junior thing because it makes naming confusing, even though it's something that happens in real life all the fucking time. Yeah, I had yeah. three friends in high school who were juniors. Which in means Which they have they someone with the exact same name who are seniors. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if your friends were seniors in high school, that's probably not a good thing. You're, 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 you are looking for. Your hand like slaps on the table, oh, on the bar countertop, whatever it's called. Bar table. Well, are you a friend of June Mai? Uh, have we heard of June Mai? This might be a trick question, but she's 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 making a count. It might be, but we haven't heard, at least according to my notes. Could you spell it? Junmai. I'm not spelling it for you because Zala doesn't get that courtesy either. Yeah. Let's see. Quickly going over odds in my head of uh, which one to roll with. I'm going to go with the safer bet. I don't know, June, my, we were friends uh, when I came here for an exchange thing for back in high school. It's been a couple of years. Coma, have you found anything yet? No. Really? Nothing that says June, yeah. Which is surprising. Are you spelling it? Like, assuming you actually spell, like, the month, Wait. the nothing, no. No, J-U-N. Or J O O N. J U N M A Y I. So. Excuse me. That's how I was mentally spelling it. J U N M A I. J U N. Oh my God. Jasper United Nation. Oh, you're mine. March Alpha Indigo. Marco Polo. I tried to learn the NATO phonetic alphabet out of my top of my head once, but then I was like, why? That ain't Oscar Kilo with me. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. No, it's not in my documents. How is it not in your... Okay. It is mentioned in the chat, though. You did mention it before here. I did. Did I? Why yeah. would that be? 
because it's an important name. Yeah. He didn't take notes. Anyway, he notes notes. betrayed me. Because this is what happens when Xyla's already given the answer. Mm. You suddenly remember that Junmai's gifts and toys was a safe house you were told about. See, I was remembering that part way in. God damn it. And you're already like, I don't know that guy. She's like, hmm. Unless you pull a save out of your ass, she's like leaning backwards and starting to like reach behind the counter for something. I know why I could have not taken it. That yeah. night. Because it was, it's like, it, it, it was told explicitly to Xyla while we weren't there. <laughs> You know Helpful. what, Como? If I had what? inspiration or something, I would give you one for being so honest with your notes. I mean, yeah. A little too honest for my taste, but whatever. Yeah. It's, I mean, look, I'm dumb. This is yeah. one person so... on your team takes notes, and you're going to start doing metagamey shit. It's like, no, man, that doesn't work. That just makes the really people who aren't involved feel bad. I know. I won't really be metagamey because I specifically commented then they put it point in is head, Zyla, you character. need to dig yourself out of a hole como yeah. probably gets like this mental to... ping of like Ooh. yeah my uh head thingy probably pops up and tells me immediately afterwards that i uh, actually do know that <laughs> yeah all right okay, so... so so because i'm finally talking now okay i want to throw pull out some streetwise Oh, and I want to twist around what I said. Oh God! Into... Hmm. All right, you want to you want to throw some you want to throw some slang around it, make it sound smart. All right, gotcha. Yeah, make it sound like I was being really subtle with it. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't like the fact that you're calling skill names, but you are doing it in the way that I like, which is that you're trying to, you know, connect the dots. Well, I was using yeah, I was specifically listing the skill name for how I'm trying to do it. Which is yes. So but that is like, exactly what, what Streetwise is for. So yes. Oh, I, lo I love this a lot. Understands urban environments and power structures in society. Oh, that's great. On other worlds, you can quickly intuit the power structures and fit into local underworlds. Oh, that's just fucking awesome. It's even used for evading police searches. Nice. Anyway, you can roll me that, and you can roll me intellect. Or education, I don't know. Do you, you, your social status, but invert it if you want to. It's amazing that we social have Social status look. inverted, yes. We, Which is the fuck? A... It, it's funny that the criminal on the team is a fox. But this ain't gonna be e okay. I think a thirteen's enough to even make like a difficult check. Yeah, that's enough to make a very difficult check. Ooh. <laughs> you nice job. You pull something out of your ass, and whatever you pull that for them, it's gotta be one hell of a bouquet of flowers because they they give you this this eyebrow raise, and then their hands go back on the table. You say you were for Bargo, was it? Oh uh, yeah, he's out of town. Oh man, you know when he's coming back in? Really need to check up on him for some stuff. He lean, she she leads. Sorry, wrong pronouns. I guess that's that's a negative inspiration point for me. Which would be a bane. Sappy's uninspired. No, uh, <laughs> that's mean. They lean in on you. She leans in on you and points you to a, a person who's sitting in the corner. Who honestly, now that you look at him, does look like the guy you should be talking to about this. Because he wears the tackiest, gaudiest fucking suit around. He makes the Yakuza look flashy. Wait, even worse I than mine? I take that back. Yakuza, please don't kill me. I think you look cool. Wait, even worse than mine? You have a sense of fashion? At all? No, I don't think so. I'm just, uh, I'm just wearing whatever they gave me as a uniform. Oh god, they're that one gang from Africa. That just dresses in like super fancy suits. The lady points you towards a person and informs you that, well, the bartender technically knows a lot of stuff. They don't know the full details as to what bar goes up to and everything. Alternatively. Oh gosh, can I find the picture Listen, that is not I, 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 I know that they think they look cool because they do. Yeah, you won't but... see a fucking American businessman sport something that daring. Do want to hear about another gang from America? Uh, from. from... From Africa. Listen, you know who they are, and they ain't afraid to show it. They, yeah, they love heavy metal. Look at these guys. Listen, if someone is willing to wear that in the African sun, you don't fuck with them. That guy, that guy's got some balls. They're probably sterile from how hot it got in there, but hey. 
So anyways, I'm gonna go talk to Fancy Lad and his, uh, Fancy Lad's snack. Fancy Lad wears indeed the glittery kind of suit. It's an awkward mix of commonality and local fashions. You sit opposite him, and the first thing that comes out of this monkey's mouth as he half chews on what you presume is some sort of cigarette. It, uh, what, what do you want? Ah, she just told me to come ask you. I was looking for a friend of mine from out uh, while well, I was and in town. Who would it be? I'm going to say the name I keep forgetting. <laughs> Hush. I'll remember it one day. It's da, da, it's Wagga Bargo. Junior. Bargo. Exactly. Just Junior. Yeah. Uh, just j just just to make sure. Just for for the sake of keeping. Here. This is how I remember it. I just put my names on one screen, and I just look for them when I need to. Anyway. Because I don't I don't bother remembering them because I know I will not remember them. But I know where they are, where I can look them up. <sighs> he, he rolls his eyes back. He gives you that you know that. I'm more important than you, and I'm not going to give you the time of day for nothing. And if if you don't know where he is, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to know where he is. I mean, I haven't been in town for a while, and lady up there just said I could ask you. Uh, you know, as a friend of Jun Mai. Lady can share whatever the hell she wants. It's not my problem. <laughs> well, anyway, I can... Uh, Make an exchange of it. Help you with something. You're you. You're not one of them. He holds his head. You're not one of them. What's it called? It's one of those fresh faces who thinks. Ugh. Listen, you ain't gonna impress nobody being being a little jackass like that, walking up to the people who matter like that. Listen. I just told you that if you don't know where he is, you're probably not supposed to know. And I don't care who sent you thinking, oh man, he's got poor me Don't matter. He takes a big <laughs> and he <laughs> over you. I really Text like it. Text message to the group. I'm tempted to punch him already. Don't, 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 don't start a fight just yet. We were, we were told not to hurt people too much. He'll live. Yeah, but 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 <laughs> people that are unrelated to any of us can get hurt. Like, what if he pulls out a gun and shoots it discriminately? Like, you're not going to get hurt, but somebody who's standing behind you might get hurt. And then they're going to blame us. Thank God these conversations are so fast. <laughs> I think, while I'm trying to figure out how to get him on my side. You're going to have to schmooze him somehow. Rub him down, or shake him down, or something. Because he looks like he's enjoying the privileges of his rank. Yeah. You... Well, then... You, you do know about... One. Hmm? Sorry. No, you do know about the organization a lot more than we do, because you, you, you... I've somehow been inducted into it halfway. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Technically, you have a boon dice you could probably spend somewhere with how you've been doing, so... Yeah. It, it, it can be abstract, like Safi said. It's like, well, try to remember... Well, I, I had a uh, small bit I was going to try to give there. Go. Mm. Well, I guess you don't want that uh, info I've been collecting on some of the off-worlders while I was looking around uh, the spaceports. This guy, by the way, he does sit in that my arms are all over the armrest of the solar sofa posture. What? What what makes you think that you got info on off? That we're in the middle of places you ain't gonna see no off world. The only off world are within like a hundred, mm, whatever, some kilometers. It's taking kilometers. It's some stupid ass robot working at the forestry department. Oh, you Be think that's the only me? one in the? No, you're not in the forestry. <laughs> <laughs> but they insulted me about the forestry before. Remember? Oh, so you guys wouldn't happen to know about the more recent ones who were going around looking in uh, whatever the big city's name is. Crater Port Down. Crater Port no, no, Down. No. Well, I mean, Crater Port is fine. I thought Omianto, because that's the, the, the big town. Or some of that 
Do I look Especially like I care what happens in Creator Port Down? And the fact that they're not there anymore? Well, they could be anywhere now, could they? Again, why is that my business? I have half the mind to just dramatically walk in. <laughs> Hello! I would actually read Hello, the fellow, fe fellow, fellow locals! Yes. Skateboard over his shoulder. <laughs> Hello, fellow organic beings. Hello, fellow monkeys. Hello, meatbag. What a good day to ape out, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who would like to become an NFT? No, no, no. No, it's not ape out. I think it was chimp out. Who would like to engage in some communal grooming? Oh, my God. Uh, I like all apes from chimp and A to chimp and Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that one was okay. <laughs> cool. I uh, just might happen to have some uh, information about where a few government agents might be running around. And they might not be very far off. Um. Oh. 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 I have something cool that might work for this. So I have good admin skill. Is it possible? For me to try and pull out any information off the net about us, you know, oh, you know, blah blah blah, harass an old lady or whatever, you know, that sort of thing, and feed it to Zyla so they can actually point that stuff out to the guy. Zyla, Como, what? You you bother an old lady in like the most civil dispute possible. That's not on I the know. news. I well, I mean, <laughs> we got into an argument with a guy who was also attacking us, and remember, I had to pick up, pull him, and just run. If anyone's on the fucking news, it's Zyla who assaulted a police officer. I did oh. assault. I did assault a police officer. Gosh darn it! I mean, we were too. Pull him next time we go into a town. We need to make more trouble for the officials. <laughs> we need to start punching puppies and and tripping old ladies. <laughs> I mean, they fine. Como, if if you want to do the bigger crimes, you can always just spray paint the side of a school or something. Yes, I mean, I can delete a couple <laughs> buildings if you want. To. I'm going to enroll Robbie, Robbie drop tables. <laughs> yes. Uh, I was trying silly. to think what I could use to like try to, uh, to use my little bit of street cred to needle some information out, and get some high ground here. Mm. I want to Kenobi this. Well, you have a boon die, so you can give yourself advantage on a roll if you want to. You just need to find what to roll. Now you have to just have to figure out your approach. Well, again, I want to try to use the whole street thing about how I've been helping out the organization a bit. Because if they do have the information about me uh, going for the cop, that could help that I helped out one of their people, you know, <gasps> in town. Did, did you ever catch your hair head? color back? Did, did you? Did you ever? Uh, yeah, when you left town. <laughs> did, did you ever catch the name of the kid you saved? No. No. The kid booked it. But it was. But it was the and kid. And Silent never old went lady. to to Junbai's to even check up or anything. So. That's true, yeah, but it was the kid of that old lady, wasn't it? Well, that was not what we thought. Implied, but never confirmed. Mm. Well, I mean, she she gave us the name, I think, so we could maybe give it to that, like cross reference it in a sense, and then see if that procs a reaction. It doesn't matter, I guess. Dang it. But yeah, I just want to try to use some of that street stuff and the fact that I was technically asked to join in and have information on. Some officials to, you know, try and entice him to do an information trade. Mm -hmm. you... Anything you need to look up, I can do it. So just let as, you, as you begin to needle him in this particular regard, he once more flexes his social s status at a little score. As he kind of, you know, if you do have information that's critical, you really shouldn't be holding it back from the guy who pulls the strings in this chamber. Hmm. Really shouldn't, but I just, just want to make his oh, feet I'm on the table. His prehensile monkey feet. Yeah, prehensile feet would be useful. You can pick Rabbit up a feet. bottle with him. <gasps> Ooh, funny thing is, um, when I was recovering from my fractures, uh, I was actually doing therapy with my feeties. I can actually like manipulate small items with my legs. That's kind of neat. 
even if there is some sort of commonality who's it's that are worth talking about. I'm pretty sure that Boaga's already taken care of him. That's what he's there for anyway, so. Mm. Whoever sent you over to try and impress me can hike off a cliff. Shh! Long hike! Long cliff. Was it a short hike on a long cliff? I'm gonna look up nearest cliffs. Please don't. <laughs> I, I think it's like a saying of like take a short hike off a long cliff. No, I understand that. Can you imagine though? Zatla is, is getting told it's like, oh, you know, go take a hike off a cliff, pop up from 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 Iapetus. It's like, hey, nearest cliff. <laughs> Didic view. <laughs> anyway, you may have spilled a few beans there. Yeah, he just did, and I think I got at least some info. Let's be like, well, all right then. Yes, I would count the sand. Well, I'm just gonna attempt to extricate myself. Oh, you ain't going no until you give me what you were talking about when it comes to the information. Because now I'm a little curious. Well, when I was in Crater Point, I saw a couple of commonality agents get off of the ship and they were going around. I tailed them for a little bit. It seemed like they were rather curious about well, some of the people that are friends of Jun Lai. And they did go and see that golden dick who's been trying to take over the place. So I think there might be an investigation heading out. Uh, I don't know. That sounds like nothing to me. Still, they're probably already bound and gagged and going off on a long trip. Well, he starts chewing hope. on one of his nails. Sure hope they are. Because mm. you know those commonality people are pretty persistent. Oh, they won't so. be when they're done. Exactly. If you overhype us, we might not meet the expectations. <laughs> Maybe that's the point. <laughs> I'm hyping you up so that they send someone. Yeah, and they sound like a kill squad. Yeah, which apparently is Blago. But I hope it's all doing care of He suddenly holds that. up his hand. Hey, you, you, you got any commonalities in it lately? And he's like, yeah, boss, there's like a couple of them across the street right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. You know, One of them's hiding him. behind a newspaper. I can't see him, but I know he's there. <laughs> I see his eyes occasionally through the hole in the newspaper. I mean, I don't even really need to have the eyes out. It's just that newspaper is upside down. Get a periscope, you fool. I have a periscope. <laughs> it's, called a dr it's called a drone. <laughs> I wonder how big it is. Can, can you imagine it's just like a, a pretty sizable yeah. one? It is like the sound of a helicopter. It's just a little man. <laughs> I know. He's just a little baby. I love I love saying that. It's just one of my favorite lines. He's just a little man. <laughs> uh, you can see that he, he, he kind of goes a little, uh, ooh. Oh, since you claim to be such a good guy. How about you head on over there and uh, take care of him? And go meet okay. up with, go meet up with, uh, what's his name? The Boaga. I'm sure he's making a pause and call me. So if you go there before he gets there, you can at least give him off and take the rest of the ride on a nice plane. Hmm. Okay, that sounds fine. I'll go take care of these guys. Watch the news. It's going to be all over when they can see to the deal. Quick uh, brain message. Hey guys, I'm gonna come kick your asses. <gasps> Make sure it looks real. <laughs> Make sure it looks real. Zala kicks me. The sound of just no. You get the Patrick beat beats and himself I'm... up. <laughs> 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 All right, do... Como. You have I'm to make it look as realistic as possible. <laughs> I'm I'm strong enough to like throw myself into a building through a wall. Or Como something. spins himself in the air. <laughs> Please it. mercy. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to take that information that he just generously gave me. 
not me gonna go fake beat the shit out of my friends and chase them off. You weren't asked to chase them off, you were asked to apprehend them and bring them over to a a meeting point so that they too can become hostage victims. Well, they can, air quotes, escape, maybe. As you leave the room, he picks at his teeth and goes, that gold bash is going to make a nice blood splatter. Well, I mean, I'm not against that part. I kind of hate the gold guy, but... (laughs) All right, Zyla, you're outside, I presume. Walking over to your bud buds. Who have been kept abreast of the situation. It's dark enough that, you know, they're starting to kind of blend into the shadows. What do you do? So how do you kick her ass? Okay, so I was sent to go and supposedly catch you guys. Okay. So all we gotta do is give yeah. you a vector to escape. You can play the Benny Hill still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we get out there. We do a bit of uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robot. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, I chose that for With you. With the melee animations from Jedi Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, Kotor. they're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty. Oh, Kotor is even better. And then you can use one of your many helpful devices. And... I mean, as long as you manage to actually hide my weapon, I don't want to give them access to that. Do you consider plasma-powered artillery a useful gadget? Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I wasn't going to catch you. I was going to let you escape. No, no, I understand that. I'm just saying, like, you could say, oh, shit, I have information on something. Lead us away from town, quote-unquote, apprehended. You know, take the weapon, hide that stuff, and then kind of just let us get captured, because then we can escape, or try to escape. Or I guess they'll just throw me into, like, a... There's one slight problem with all of your plans right, that needs compactor. to be considered. It's late at night, and yeah. if you, you, you can't go back to your hotel just like that without this causing some trouble. We yeah. Anything in the hotel? No. Yeah, we haven't gone, gone there yet. yet. Yeah. We just arranged for accommodations. They'll sleep in the car. <laughs> All right. Well, Camo. Yes. Can you roll me? What would be the appropriate melee combat to roll with intellect? As you, or, or education as you try to fake a, a, a convincing looking attack scene. Because Silas' credibility is not really what's uh, at stake here. Yeah, it's our credibility. Uh, education, you say? Yeah, or intelli- intellect, whichever one you. Either well, you're pulling out some tricks by the books or you're improvising on the spot. Well, I've lost access to a lot of my you know, knowledge, so. Mm. Your, your internet's back, don't worry. No, no, I understand. No, no, it's, it, it's not that. It's that during character creation, I've lost some of my education, which was higher before. Um, let me check my skills if I can find oh, something yeah. that's appropriate. Oh yeah, because you went on an episode. I used. To, yeah, I know. I had an episode. It's like, yeah, it's like I'm trying to kill a man with a coffee maker. Perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going through an episode. It's like, oh, how long do episodes last? I don't know. A couple weeks, a month. It's like, bitch, what are you watching? <laughs> Dang, bitch, you live like this. <laughs> Come yes. on, the roll. Yes, I'm. Yeah. I don't have anything. Well, I mean, I have strength, but I don't think that's applicable. So it would be just 2d6. S6. You don't have intellect or education, and you don't have melee combat. Wait, how does the robot not have intellect? Like I said, I didn't used to be a robot. I used to be... I I, I used to have a bigger butt. (laughs) I used to have... I, I used to be a ship. You used to have those thick thrusters. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> uh, you should be glad Which... that you're on the other side of the street. I know, right? Because no one would believe that up close. I know. That's fine. Well, I mean, I recorded it for them if they want to analyze it. The two of you, the three of you ass clowns make your way back to the car. And soon you apparently leave because that's the plan, right? Yeah, get out of town because we know roughly what's going on. Unfortunately, Sal okay. is going to suffer road trip fatigue at this rate. And you're going to have oh to gosh. tell that nice lady why you can't carry out the interrogation of the people in the town that you were supposed to do. 
I thought Zylo would stay behind. Yeah, I thought I was staying behind. You have the social skills to handle that situation delicately? I mean, I'm kind of okay at lying. Uh, good at the streets. No, this is Diplomat, man. This is this is Diplomat. I have a point in Diplomat. Slash Atman. It's, it's, oh. And it's going to uh, be endurance you because it's a Zyla? Long day. Zyla has Diplomat. I have Admin. I can help over the internet. Okay. Between you and Pollen Como, do either of you yeah. have stealth? Yes, I have four in stealth. Good. Because I you're going to. <laughs> because you basically need that to make sure that you're hidden out in the middle of nowhere somewhere, lest any other fiver decide to come look for you. Yes. How is your golden. Probably not golden, but how is your shiny ass mm -hmm. have four in stealth? <laughs> um. Okay, so you know how I'm not particularly smart? But I carry a big yeah. gun and very strong. Do you th do you think there is a particular particular um, I guess um, area of operation of strong robots that are very stealthy and carry really big guns? So you're a sniper. We're fairly sure assassin of some sort, but yes. <laughs> I'm HK47. If anything, <laughs> did you not pick up on me calling people meatbags earlier? <laughs> but yes, I am very stealthy. Uh, in no small part, probably because I actually do wear clothes. Hold on, let me show you the picture. This this is what I'm using. This is what I'm imagining when I'm when I'm thinking of myself as as uh, Iapetus. Oh gosh, where is it? <gasps> oh no, did I lose the folder? I think I lost the folder. Dang it. I was yeah, so I'm gonna try to. At least stick around town. Yeah, so Zala basically <laughs> kicks us out slash fails to apprehend us, mm -hmm. but stays in town to like hang out with the guys. So unless you, have, so if I get this right, the plan is that the next day Zala takes care of this whole interrogation business. Mm -hmm. and sends, sends that nice lady home, Trampa, all the information she needs. And then mm -hmm. you meet up outside of town and head on to where? Uh, we head on to the place that they mentioned uh, the guy I was going to be at so I can try to interrupt the terrorism plans. Cool. Time for another road trip, baby. Yes. Well, this time it's going to be one hell of a road trip because you ain't going around the corner. You're going all the way. Oh, man, that's like a... That's a big trip. That is a 30-hour drive. That's fine. We can rest somewhere. Oh, cool. It's like driving to California from my hometown. Cool. Also, I don't need to sleep, probably, so I can just drive you. We end the session with our characters in the car, taking Gosh. several days driving past the coastline, nonstop. Yeah. Eventually, you pick up something in the distance, a large rotary vehicle that is heading ahead of you towards Kalamine. Oh. You are now in Nawasha territory, although there was no border patrol as part of the World Council Unity blah blah blah. You are now well within the territory of those who will not tolerate your presence easily. Yes. Your vehicle cruises through Kalmne, a town that is a support town, gathers up local resources and sells them at the greater markets. Industrial, large warehouses, massive boats and rotary transports. Your job is to find Bwaga, who supposedly is here, before he leaves, or at least catches trail. Hmm. Because apparently, some people have been kidnapped. Although, to be fair, you're aware of that before you arrive. Because on the radio, on the morning of the day that you leave, there's hmm. a hot, hot report. Oh? What does it say? Just this morning, it's been confirmed that several individuals from the from the Commonality Embassy have been have gone missing. The Commonality Embassy has released a public statement that several individuals have not reported back in office for the last 24 hours. They are presumed missing or confused, and thus must be reported at the earliest convenience. They show like some they show like some pictures. Imagine the radio is fancy enough they could show like little pictures of everything. Uh, hey, that's Danny Sango. Cool. Nice for him. He's famous now. Wait, Nisengo got went missing. Yeah, and several other people also show up on the screen. Uh, yeah, office okay. workers you probably saw from the corner of your eyes and all that. 
yeah, well, okay, if you haven't no uh, if you don't remember, Nissan Go is that golden avatar that you wanted to punch thing. Oh, that's one that I'm not going to really miss. I mean, yes, but still, it's kind of far job. Dai Nissan Go <laughs> and his remaining retainers all vanished a few days after a massive protest that happened outside of Olsec and the World Unity Council buildings, as well as the Commonality mm -hmm. Embassy. Even now, the commonality is being accused of faking the disappearance to garner and wager sympathy. And then they have like a little interview segment with one of the protesters, and it's the same guy that you saw like a while ago. He's already let out of jail and everything. Deadly. Fair and enough. he's like, yeah, the commonality is just doing this stuff to make themselves look like they're the victims. But they got a massive space station up in the sky, and it's loaded with weapons. They could blast us off this planet if they want to. And they're making us think that we could kidnap one of theirs, make them go away. I bet you that golden guy could take us rifle shot to the face and not even feel it. Look, the space, the space station can't patrol the neighborhood. No, I, Tom Chompa also, like, will hail you over the course of the day and wants to know what the fuck is going on and if you're okay. Hold on. Uh, which guy? Tom Chompa. The lady that it's your contact with an OLSEC. Ah. Well, yes, but uh, no, no, no. Pull him said that guy is good. I'm like, who? Which one? A... The, the protester that is hiding yeah, the up protester. stuff? Yeah, the protester. Yeah. See? Yeah, but we're talking with Hon Champa, and I'm like, yeah, some shit seems to be going down. Yep. You, you all right, at least? Uh, we're so fine, fun. actually. We've been, uh, I'm tired of shit, but oh, man. been dealing uh, with getting info. We're actually, uh, that's pretty okay, surprising, that considering that I heard that your entire, uh, your room was ransacked. Good thing we weren't there. Yes. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty serious. I'm talking fever pitch stuff. This stuff's got everyone riled up. Even the commonality people have started to protest, and I don't like the look of what I can see from my office. Oh. Look, there's a plot going on. We sent you some of the info already. Your friend seems to be involved. And it's definitely the, the Fivers, because they were like, they talked about the golden guy making a good blood splatter a few days ago. We're going to try to intercept. If they kill him, we are in deep, deep shit. That is why we're going to try to stop that from happening. I should have to tell you that if your technical boss gets technically killed... We're technically not getting paid, we know. You're, you're going to get bureaucratically killed, probably. Yeah, and we are on the way right now to go and stop this. Can you at least give me information so I can contact the local security forces to reinforce your activities? Well, I thought we sent them all, sent her all the information we had. Uh, I'll if if we haven't, I will send it right now. Very neatly organized in nice little folders. Itemized list. Exactly. That's everything we got. I even have records. Yes. Some shiny asshole told me all of it. Okay, I'm just... I need a moment to process what you just did. What? So, you... you sent... the police that Sila beat up because they were way too heavy-handed where the hostage situation no. is going on. No. We sent her the specific information, and then we will tell her that you sending the police into the situation is a bad idea. Yeah. She responds back that she, like, this is, uh, she is just like, what? what? <laughs> Do you have any idea what kind of breach of protocol it is for me to... Do not report it, yeah. Are you, are you out of your mind right now? <laughs> then who, who, you're going to solve this yourself. I, is this normal for you people to, to tell the police that, y what? Probably I'm not. not saying to not get involved at all. We're saying don't rush in there because that could cause an issue. We can get in there quietly, make an opening, and then you guys come in and get in. Promise me you won't kill Baga. Or anyone. We, 
we are going to do our absolute best to hurt as few people as necessary and, and not kill anybody. Dies. Then I'm... I... L Listen, I can see them from my window. If anything goes wrong, we might mm -hmm. be looking at a gas fire that's not going to go out. Yep. I know all sex security isn't the softest, but... <sighs> Just make it work. We're going to be as delicate as we can. It's... Okay, I'm sending you... You s this implies they're using a rotary transport, right? Yeah, we're pretty sure we just saw it. Okay, um, I'm going to send you some blueprints. A deck plan, if you will. Mm -hmm. If the hostages are not moved from transport to transport, then you'll know what you're dealing with. So All right. Just got to get them out. If we get the hostages out, your guys come in. She is quiet for a moment. There's this distinct... Just like her taking deep breaths, trying to figure this out. Whatever you find out. Listen, it, try to find out what they were even planning with this. If you, if you manage to intercept them, this there has to be more to this. Like a studio or someplace they would report it. Because mm -hmm. they're... they're they're terrorists. They, they, they make things public. They, they try to pressure the public. So there has to be a place they would keep the hostages and film it and something, right? That, that would sense. make sense. Find out where. Something. Because this, I know this sounds morbid, but this is a lead you have to follow up on. To the end, if you can. Mm -hmm. You see, like, a little deck plan flow in front of your eyes. Uh, I actually have a deck plan I can show you. Um, oh, that doesn't come with the numbers. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, while you're busy with that, I mm -hmm. am going to tell... I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this information on the down low. And try to get the old security in the area away from your position, so that if something starts blowing up or if bullets start flying, you'll have some more time to operate before doors start getting kicked in. Yes. And try not to get your boss killed. I know I didn't mention that part yet, but actually, I did. I you mentioned did. it, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right. How close are you to Calumne? How far are we? We were in Motor Town, so if that you, was easier. If you absolutely had to, you could probably start making a move at nighttime. That's ridiculously far if this map is accurate. I mean, you've been like on the road for a day and a half. Yeah, well, yeah. She sends you one more thing to help you out with. Mm-hmm. She sends you what is sort of like a transponder log, you know, like planes. Mm -hmm. And she, you're going to have to figure this out. Might be an admin role or something of the like to figure out what useful information there is. Because if you have the transponder, you could probably find the plane more easily. She, well, is it going to be a plane? Unless you have anything else, she wants to cut connection and she has to take care of business because the, the protests outside of her window are getting a little uh... uppity, yeah. Okay, we got a job to do. Yes. Next time. Hmm. I mean, there's going to be forklifts, but they're more decoration. I don't want you to take a job as a forklifter quite yet. There are other ways to find a sailor. I need to find a sailor. Five minutes later. Hmm. Maybe near the docks. Now, you did mention a plane, but it's essentially a helicopter in the yeah. sense. <laughs> Aircraft, in general, have transponders. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I mean, I have interface and com uh, comms as a skill. Doesn't uh, Pullen have admin? She sends you, like, she sends you a whole bunch of logs, is what she sent you. I have admin at three, so I can probably manage that. 
basically what you've got is a constantly updating list of locational information and the thing is you have to figure out which one of those might be the people you're looking for okay narrow down your options that makes sense um Poland, what's your uh, admin skill mm, zero oh fair enough oh, well you. in that case in that case i'll be managing that um uh, first of all i would like to check like you're saying this is essentially We're ending flight session here. what are you here? gonna do so, oh. like, like, like as a broad thing Next time, you're gonna and have to deal with a situation that can get very sensitive very quickly. Yeah. Well, while we're driving, I would like to monitor the flight logs of everything that's moving in the general vicinity. No, that's not what you get. You get like a a, a finished version of the flight logs. You basically like copy pasted everything that was available. Oh, fair enough. Of like, oh, you're following a plane. Uh, oh, wait, that would work, and then dumps it all in your lap. Okay, fair enough. Well, in that particular case, uh. So yes, Is in between, to you're going to take care of that, but you're also going to yeah. have to figure out some sort of battle plan. Because again, well, they probably have gunmen, because if you have hostages, you want to shoot them. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I'm here for. Although, because yeah, no, one don't here, to kill anybody. no one here probably uses blasters or anything that has, like, super... They also don't use guns, they have, like, sonic-based weapons because of the thicker atmosphere. Yeah, I know, but aside from the gun that deletes houses, I also have a stun rifle, so... And my bow can work with my electricity to stun people. It's specifically listed that I can use it with my bioelectricity. And pull him can 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 charm them with their animal charisma. Anyway, it's the, it's the next time we're gonna get our first proper s situation with problems. Yeah, man, man, this is gonna be fucked up. There's probably like there's so many things that can go wrong. And that's what makes it fun. Well, yes, but at the same time, you're gonna yell at us. I am going to yell at you. Because the people please who are there are going to yell at you. Yeah, but please don't yell at us out of character. No, it's mostly going to be in character yelling. That's fine. Like, stop or I'll shoot. Look, remember what I said about... <sighs> it's silly. I am technically friends with, my, with, with, with the ship that I used to be. Oh, you're still friends with your ex. That's maybe, nice. maybe you can ask your ship to do an orbital bombardment. I'm sure that will help. No, not that. It's just, hey, this thing is trying to fly away. You just park your butt on top of it. <laughs> park your thick ass. Yeah, exactly. It just kind of pu pushes it against the landing pad. It just sits there. <laughs> just kind of... God damn it. Just, just sit on them. Just sit on them. Aim yeah. the thrusters downward. Anyway, how big of an is the the sort of ship that I would have been? Uh, thinking about it, I think it'd actually be like about be longer. Yeah, it would be about the size of one of these rotaries. Fair enough. Kind of parking its fat ass on top. On top of it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, there's a there's another picture of one of these. I think this. Yeah, here it is. 3D picture. Show me. That's pretty. It looks chunky. I like it. I think you've shown it to us like uh, at some point earlier. It's cool. That's why. Also. So, before we all go, what'd you guys think of uh, Hideo Kojima committing assassination? I can't. I mean, it's it's fucking funny. I have memes about it. I have memes for days. I, just, I can't believe they multiple governments use pictures of Kojima. No, not the governments. Multiple news outlets, and then they just run. No, away. apparently they actually handed it off to the government. Yes, because the government says, oh, multiple reputable news sources are reporting this unironically as legitimate, so we're just going to use that. It's like, government officials don't know Kojima. Hideo Kojima walks out of the flubber screening and he's like, what? Can you imagine? Can you imagine the police breaks into his house or something? To be honest, and he's uh, like that. Uh, <laughs> Lemi Lemi waking up. Oh, no, not Lemim. No, 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 not Lemim. Lemi. Le, you know? <sighs> so apparently most of the Japanese viewpoint is, oh, Shinzo Abe died. Ooh. Yeah, they don't they don't really care about him. Well, no, they, they, they care, just not in a good way. <laughs> well, yeah, in a sense, because he's like, oh, shit, I'm going to deny fucking atrocities in World War, War, War II happening. It's like like this. this. This is the picture I was talking about. The raping of Nanking never happened. Yeah, pretty much. That's what they would say. Yeah, he was a very conservative party person. Yes. Uh, then he got replaced by Junichiro Koizumi, who they really liked. What they already who started... was so good 
that Koizumi got his own anime. Wow. Can you oh. imagine? Seth, is everything okay with the protests over there, by the way? What? The farmers? I don't know. I, what what yeah. about it? Uh, I just saw videos of the police shooting at them, like, like with live rounds. Wait, what? Uh, the Dutch police is shooting the protesters with guns. The Dutch police isn't going to shoot with live ammo. They They did, though, and that's what the farmers are complaining about. Like, hold on, give me a second. I think I can find this video somewhere in my notes. Because I keep track of things like that. In case they, they 